what is up guys happy hump day welcome back i am tiff um this is going to be for the air signs gemini libra aquarius it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below okay let's get right into this thank you guys for the love and support hit that like button but let's get right into this for my air signs what do we got going for my air signs libra gemini aquarius libra Gemini, Aquarius, overall energy for my Libra, my Geminis, my Aquarius, my air sign spirit. Presence of absence, okay? So you're thinking about somebody quite a bit, all right? Now, this is also a card of losing a loved one, okay? So somebody could have lost a loved one recently, and you're thinking a lot about um, this person, okay? But um, it, since this is a love reading i'm gonna read this as there's somebody you know that you're thinking about a lot okay with the presence of absence hold what is absent in the present of your love so even though they're not around you you think about this person constantly they're always on your mind even though they're not with you here like um in the 3d they are definitely with you spiritually okay um, but there is definitely somebody that's been on your mind, okay? You might be at home thinking about this person, looking at old pictures with this person, okay? Really reminiscing on, on the good times and the bad times with this person, okay? But the thing is, you guys have been really focusing on self-love, all right? And it's like, even if this person is away from you, it, it might be best. Like, you might have had to separate from this person, even though you didn't want to. But the thing is, it was best for you, for your self-love, for your self-worth, for you, you spiritually, the best thing was to do was to disconnect from this person for the time being. But the thing is, you love this person and you miss this person, no matter how hard it is. It was like you had to leave this person alone or let this person go for now for your own self-love, for your own self-respect. And that's the hardest thing to do when you're 100% in love with somebody and then you have to like leave them alone or let them go because they just can't get their shit together. You know what I'm saying? That shit sucks. And it has you just, you know, this person is always on your mind. Even though you had to separate from this person or you guys are in separation, this person is always on your mind. Okay, let's see what's going on with the air sign spirit ancestors and guides. What's going on with the air signs person? Spirit, ancestors, and guides. It's like this person just didn't show you enough love. You know what I'm saying? It's like you knew that this person cared about you you know that this but it's like this person it, it was too tumultuous there might have been a lot of fighting there might have been a lot of arguing it was like even though the love was there there was no love shown type thing with this caring connections being in reverse and i checked them all of my cards were in the upright okay so it's like the, it's like this it's this connection wasn't what you thought it was gonna be like you truly love this person you had high hopes for a relationship with this person but it's like this person turned out to not be exactly what you thought it was that's what this situation is it's like when you fell in love with the wrong person you thought that this person was different and then it's like as soon as you guys got into a relationship this person changed right um this person stopped acting like they give a damn they stopped putting out the effort that they used to put in there was just a lot of things that you had hope for when it came to this person that turned out to not be um what it seemed okay and that could be why it's like you had to separate from this person you love this person but it's like this person couldn't give you what you need or what you desired or what you wanted or they changed and it was like you you had to separate yourself for your own good here then we have the door to personal happiness and healing right so it was like you had to separate from this person but what spirit is saying is that this person also could have been like a a, a learning experience in your spiritual growth okay this person could have taught you what love isn't 
right the way they treated you could have been like even though you love this person this person couldn't love you correctly so this could have been a learning experience for you to teach you what love isn't like even though you have high hopes for a person you can't turn them into what you want them to be so this is like it's like for your own personal happiness and healing you had to move on from this person okay because we have the door to romance in reverse and we have the victory card in reverse okay so you know it was like you had high hopes for a new beginning in love you know um for this fresh start for all of this shit but what what it is it's like at the end of the day even though you want a fresh start even though you want to do over you know that this person is just never gonna be what you want them to be you know that this person isn't. So it's like, even though, because in the upright, this is a brand new beginning in love, right? This is rekindling. In the upright, this is success. But it's like, both of these are in the reverse. So it's like, even though you want this new beginning and you want to try it again, at the end of the day, you know this person can never be what you want. And that it'll always end up coming back to the same situation, going through the same bullshit over and over. Okay, and that's why it's been hard, okay, for you to let go. But the thing is, you have, you know, it's like even though you're still attached, you're still thinking about this person, in your mind, you know, this person can't give you what you want. This will never work out. And that's why it's like you had to step through this door for uh, personal healing and happiness. I think this person taught you a lot about yourself and a lot about what love is not. And this person taught you a lot about fake love. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the air signs and their person. Okay. How teachable are you? So it's like, this is the type of person that, you know, you can't tell this person shit. It's like, you can talk and talk and talk to this person. Tell them what you expect. Tell them what you want out, out of out of a relationship, you know. Try to teach them re the respect and what the boundaries. But this person, it's like, you can't tell this person shit. You can talk and talk and talk to this person. It goes in one ear and out the other. This is the type of person that it's like, they just don't even give a fuck about anybody's feelings they're gonna do what they want regardless of, of like you know it's one of those things where it's like you argue about the same thing over and over and over and it's like okay I, I can't keep repeating myself like if you're not getting it by now you're never gonna get it and that's the way this person is okay sexuality the sex might have been really really good with this person okay and and that might have helped you get through some things, okay? That might have helped this relationship push forward, all right? Because it was like the sex was, was really good. So, you know, maybe when you guys would do it, things would be going good. But it's like this person helped you open up your sexuality, okay? And helped you... It's like sex won't cure a relationship type thing. And you started realizing that, you know, you're like, okay, yeah, the sex is great, but when it comes to the way I'm, I'm being treated or, you know, the way this person is, it's not matching up, right? So it's like you had to become the phoenix rising out of the ashes when everything seemed to be falling apart, when, when it's like... It was like losing this person no matter how badly it was it still fucking hurts you know what i'm saying it is still fucking hard okay and it was like it seemed like losing this person um the world was crumbling around you and you literally you held hope like okay maybe this person will finally hear what the fuck i'm saying and change but it's like they're not they're not hearing it so even though you had hope for a new beginning or this person could even be trying to reach out and be like can we start over you're in your empress phoenix rising energy you're like fuck no you know what i'm saying i'm not finna deal with this bullshit as hard as it is it's like no 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 i don't want this new beginning 
sexual arts. I'm telling you, like, it's like literally this was a relationship. And I'm not trying to be rude or face patience. Spirit wants you to have patience. You have something way better coming in for you, okay? Um, I'm not trying to be rude, but it was like this person is a lustful person, okay? And it's like this person strives off of sex. This person gets their way with sex. It's, they've done it their whole life. It's like they can go from um person to person and get their way by having sex with them it's like a this person's a charmer okay and a player and they know how to use what they got to their advantage and i feel like that's what they would do with you they know that the sex was good they know you like the sex so instead of treating you good they would try to fuck you good and then still dog you out and that shit ain't that that's not you know what i'm saying that's not what you want out of a relationship that's not what you want out of this like hell i could just go fuck somebody and not have to deal with the extra bullshit right let's see what are the positives in this air signs relationship connection spirit what are the positives here so it's like this, it's like this is an amazing connection you guys vibe on a different level though it's like even when things are good it's really really good you know what i'm saying but the thing is it's like if this person would put the work in and actually show that they're doing ch that they're changing and then this relationship would work. You know that. You tell, like, if this person would literally come to you and put the work in with the gardener and do what it takes to make this work, you would give them another chance, right? Because the connection and the vibe is there. It's just the shit that this person does where they just live singly like they don't give a fuck is a problem. So it's like... If they were to put in the work, okay, because of the connection that the two of you guys have, um, I feel like you would you would want to deal with this person. But the problem is that they're not putting in the work. Let's see. What are the negatives of this connection? The fact that somebody's very fucking childish. Like, this person is very childish, okay? And it's like this person is confused. on like It's like they're never sure of what they want out of life. You know, they're they're unsure of their life purpose. They're not in alignment with the universe. You know what I'm saying? This person could get a job and get tired of it within a month. Go get another job. This person could go to a relationship, get tired of it. It's just this person is childish as fuck, okay? They're always looking for the best, next best thing here. Let's see what shadow work is going on within this connection, spirit, ancestors, and guides for my air signs. What shadow work? Artificial heart. Damn, both of these just came out for the um, alone in the world, okay? Well, maybe what you don't see is that maybe it is time to be alone for a little while. To work on yourself, on your growth, on your self-love, on your finances, on your, you know, your stability, on you. And this is what spirit might be saying. Like, it might be hard right now. Yeah, you're thinking about this person. You miss this person. But at the end of the day, you know this person can't give you what you want. So right now, it's time just to be alone and work on yourself okay because i feel like somebody is definitely faking it to make it here okay somebody is pretending to care more than what they do all right and it's like you're pretending not to hurt it's like no it's like this person is showing you fake love like they really are with the artificial heart somebody is showing you fake love as fuck all right and you are trying to act like it don't bother you but the thing is this really has you hurting very very bad it's like you might be very stubborn so you don't want to come across like you're hurting okay but it, you are hurting because of this you're pretending like you don't give a damn but it's like deep down inside you know that this person is it's like they're faking it to make it with you they're not showing you true love, true, you know what I'm saying, true, 
And they could be acting like they don't give a fuck too. Like they're out here. I feel like this person acts like they're in love with every person they get with. Like I love you. They call every person they get with baby. You know what I'm saying? I love you. I'm here for you. And really, I feel like this person has been hurt so many times in the past that this person kind of got cold and shut down to everybody else. So they don't feel pain anymore. Like, it's like they don't completely open up to relationships to get hurt because of what has happened. So instead they go to relationship to relationship, pretend to give a fuck and leave broken hearts just like they were hurt in the past. Let's see what's, what messages, what romance angel messages we got for the air sign, spirit, ancestors, and guides. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, okay? So, forgiving and learning, flirt very soon. So, it's like you're having a decision to make uh, on either dealing with this person or moving on, Okay. And it's like you, you really do. You want to give this relationship a chance. You want to work on this um, with as you release and heal the past, you experience more life. Like you want to release, you want to forgive, you want to move forward. But the problem is this person is a flirt. Okay. This person is like one of those people that like everywhere they go, they are joking, flirting with people. And it's like, and it's in a disrespectful way. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, as much as you want to work on it and you want to forgive and move on, spirit is saying like, it might be too much for you. You know what I'm saying? In the back of your mind, you're like, nah, this person cannot give me what I want. And spirit is saying, maybe if you do have some resentment or you're holding on to something from past, you know, that you've went through in the past, it's time to move on from that. Okay. Okay. It might be time to let go of this person and move on. But it's up to you on what you want to do here with this person. Because ultimately, I feel like you do want to work on it with this person. But at the end of the day, this person cannot give you what you deserve. And you know that. Okay? All right. And that's what I have for my air signs. If that resonated at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, my loves. Peace.